is your shoulder blade sticking out? Do you have to be concerned about your shoulder blade sticking out even if you don't feel any pain? Well, today in this video, I'm going to answer all of your questions on why your shoulder blade is sticking out and whether you should be concerned or not and what you can do about it. Let's go! Hi, I'm Melanie the Physio, also the co-founder of Capital Physiotherapy here in Australia. Now, shoulder blade sticking out or shoulder blade popping out is what we call scapular winging in the medical world. It is generally caused by long-standing weakness on your shoulder blade control. Some people have shoulder blade sticking out or what we call shoulder blade winging with or without pain. If your shoulder blade is sticking out with or without pain, you really should be concerned about it because having scapular winging would put you at a much, much higher risk of having shoulder injuries. Now we have done a video in the past to explain to you with a shoulder blade model to show you why your shoulder blade is actually winging. I highly recommend you check that video out after this video. Our shoulder blades act like a base for our shoulder movement. You can almost see shoulder blade as the foundation of any upper body movement. Therefore, if your shoulder blade control is poor or not in the right alignment or they're not moving properly, then it creates a lot of issues with the actual shoulder joint itself. Without good shoulder blade control, it would lead to consequences such as reduced in shoulder strength, you will find that even though you are doing strengthening on your shoulder all the time, but you just find that you are not progressing or not improving fast enough, increasing risk of shoulder injuries, or just reduce in general like the shoulder and the upper body and upper limbs overall performance. Now, to fix shoulder blade winging problem, we first need to strengthen your shoulder blade muscles. And it's not just one particular muscle, it's the shoulder blade group of muscles as a whole. So here are some exercises you can start doing at home to start fixing this issue. To start off with, we have the seated reverse fly exercise. Now you would either need a resistance band or a dumbbell to start doing this exercise. I'm going to put a link down in the description box below on where you can get them online. Starting off with this exercise, you would want to sit on a stable chair. Keep your body upright and lean your body as far forward as possible. Keeping your back straight, lean forward and just drop your hand down to the side of your legs. With your hands down at the side of your leg, squeeze your shoulder blade back and then lift your hands up horizontally like a flying motion and then slowly lower them back down again. You can use either a resistance band or a dumbbell with this exercise, starting off with a lower weight or a lower resistance and then build your way back up. Lifting up and making sure that you're relaxing the top of your shoulder and you're really squeezing the back of your shoulder blade muscle while you're doing this exercise. Lifting it up and lowering it down to the side of your legs again, keeping your elbow as straight as possible. Repeat this exercise for about 10 to 12 repetitions and do that for four to five sets. The next exercise is what we call shoulder blade retraction exercise. Roll up a tower, put the tower on the floor, put your forehead with the tower facing downwards so you are lying on your tummy. What you need to do with this exercise is take a light weight on both arms, put them right down beside your body, squeeze your shoulder blade back and lifting your hands off the floor just about an inch to a centimetre high and then relax them back down again. Squeeze your shoulder blade back, lifting your arms up and then slowly lower them back down again. Repeat these exercises for about 10 to 20 repetition and do that for about three sets. Now the next exercise is very good for your shoulder blade stabilization control. Come onto your knees and your hand in a crawling position, making sure that your shoulder is directly underneath your wrist and your hip is directly underneath your knee. 
Imagine you have a fire burning underneath your chest. So you're pushing your chest away from the floor as much as possible. Hold that position for a good 30 seconds and then relax them back down to the starting position. Repeat this process for 10 repetitions. Now the next exercise is also to train your serratus anterior muscle group. Now this muscle group is one of the key muscles that will keep your shoulder blades sticking to your chest wall so they don't wing out. With this exercise, you want to find the strongest resistance band that you've got. Lie on the resistance band across your shoulder blade. Bend your elbow up with the resistance band looping over your elbow. Try to push your elbow as high up towards the ceiling as possible, holding that tension there for a good 30 seconds and then relax them back down. Repeat this process for 10 repetitions. Now, if you like this video so far, don't forget to smash that like button down there and subscribe to our channel. Liking this video will help with our YouTube algorithm and the more likes we get from this video, the more YouTube will share it to the rest of the world and the more people we can help. Subscribe to our channel because we will have more shoulder-related exercise coming up in the very near future. If you'd like to learn more about how you can continue to rehab this problem, head on to our private Facebook page at Ask Mel the Physio and you would have access to not only this PDF for this issue, but every other educational booklet that we will have from now onwards. I upload video here on a weekly basis on health and fitness related topic as well as injury rehab topic. Once again, I'm Melanie and I will see you in the next video. Until then, stay safe, happy and healthy. Good luck with your exercises. See ya!